reformation as you have discussed earlier octane number can be increased by reformation so what is reformation reformation is defined as a chemical process which involves change in structure of hydrocarbons without much change in its molecular weight why reformation is done reformation is mainly carried out or brought in order to increase octane number thereby decrease knocking tendency our main aim to do reformation is to bring down knocking tendency of gasoline or petrol thereby increasing octane number therefore we're supposed to do reformation so as we have already discussed so in any petroleum industries or a petroleum industry where fractional distillation column is there once fractionation is done the petrol will be sent to a separate section where reformation is done where part of petrol will be converted to either branched chain cyclic or aromatic hydrocarbon now let us see how reformation is carried out so reformation is brought about some chemical process so what are those chemical process let us see reformation is brought about by either isomerization cyclization cyclization and dehydrogenation and hydro cracking reformation is brought about by these four steps chemical process let us discuss these chemical process one by one isomerization what is isomerization so here straight chain hydrocarbons are converted to branched chain hydrocarbons for example let us consider hexane hexane this straight chain hydrocarbon which contains six carbon atoms so after isomerization we get two methyl pentane so hexane we have six hydrocarbon atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 so after isomerization two we have six carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 therefore we have not changed the number of carbon atoms or number of hydrogen atoms only the structure has been changed only by changing the structure what happens we can decrease the knocking tendency and we increase the octane number of the fuel you can calculate if you want you can calculate the molecular weight too so what are alkanes general formula cn h2n plus 2 so how many carbon atoms you have 6 c6 h2n plus 2 means h how many h you have h2n 2 into n how many n is 6 2 into 6 12 plus 2 14 so c6 h14 so similarly calculate the hydrogen atoms here 3 3 6 plus 3 9 10 11 12 13 14 so number of carbon atoms and number of hydrogen atoms have not been changed before and after hydrogen isomerization only structure has been changed so as the name definition tells only chemical process involving change in structure not in molecular weight so the molecular weight remains same by this what improves octane number improves knocking decreases let us see the next process cyclization so here cyclization is nothing but converting straight chain hydrocarbon into cyclic hydrocarbons so once again we are taking nhexane so in almost all process we are considering nhexane because it will be easy to remember so nhexane once again is straight chain hydrocarbon after cyclization process we get cyclohexane So the cyclohexane as you have seen in the octane number has 
मोर ऑक्टेन रेटिंग कंपेयर्ड टू ब्रांच चेन हाइड्रोकार्बन्स नेक्स्ट साइक्लाइजेशन एंड डिहाइड्रोजनेशन सो इन दिस प्रोसेस स्ट्रेट चेन हाइड्रोकार्बन्स आफ्टर साइक्लाइजेशन एंड डिहाइड्रोजनेशन गिव राइज टू एरोमेटिक हाइड्रोकार्बन्स सो इन नेक्स्ट सीन फर्स्ट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू साइक्लाइजेशन to obtain cyclohexane this on dehydrogenation or do you mean by dehydrogenation removal of hydrogen atoms gives you aromatic hydrocarbons so aromatic hydrocarbons have higher octane number compared to straight chain branch chain cyclic hydrocarbons right so as i told earlier in practical whatever petrol we are using it comprises of straight chain ब्रांच चेन साइक्लिक एंड आरोमेटिक एंड यू डिस्कस आरोमेटिक इज हैविंग हाईएस्ट ऑक्टेन रेटिंग द लास्ट प्रोसेस इन रिफॉर्मेशन इज हाइड्रोक्रैकिंग सो हियर एन पैराफीन्स दैट इज हायर मोलक्लोवेट हाइड्रोकार्बन्स आर कन्वर्टेड टू लाइटर गैसेस इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड कैटलिस्ट सो इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग एन पैराफीन्स दैट इज हायर मोलक्लोवेट हाइड्रोकार्बन्स For example, you are taking only n-heptane. So n-heptane, after hydrocracking, gives propane and butane. This propane and butane are light gases which can be removed. Right. So reformation carries how many process? Four process. That is where the straight chain either carbon is converted to branched chain, cyclic and aromatic. So in hydrocracking. Higher molecular weight hydrocarbons are converted to light gases. So a question will be asked in university examination. Explain how octane number can be enhanced. A simple answer: octane number can be enhanced by a process known as reformation. Just this simple line carries one mark. I suppose to explain the various steps. That is, isomerization. cyclization cyclization and hydro, uh, dehydrogenation and hydrocarbon for these four steps four marks and that once one line carries one mark right so total five marks thank you please like and share this video and do subscribe to the video resource youtube channel